Hello guys, this video show how you can have variable chamfers. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix. It's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, cyborg ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So if you go ahead and select an edge and press D, you can actually press V right here to add uh, variable fillets. Let's say, for example, we want the back here to have a larger fillet and then this one to have smaller. We'll just go ahead and press V. And as you can see, we can now use these little sliders here. And as you can see, we're now going from wider here to thinner. We can even go ahead and press L to add various uh, other points. And then we can have, you know, go from wide to thin, for example, and then back to wide again. So this is how we can have variable fillets. What about variable chamfers? So if we select an edge right here and we go ahead and uh, press C to chamfer, you're going to notice that, I mean, we will get some kind of natural width just because of the topology here. You notice it's a little bit wider here uh, than here, but you can see it's pretty consistent. But what if you do want a variable chamfer? So here's kind of a little makeshift method I came up with. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'll press C for the chamfer. All right. Let's say it wants to be wider in the back and then more narrow here in the front. So I'll establish this, for example. All right, now we go ahead and press uh, L for the limit point option. And let's say we choose where we want the transition to take place. That's it right there. All right, as you're noticing, uh, we now get uh, it gradually, it actually abruptly stops right there. All right. So we can now select this face, press R for rotate V to set up a custom pivot right there. And here is where we can set up the transition. Right there, for example. All right next, I'll select this C. Here will be my smaller chamfer right there. In fact, let's make it even smaller than that. All right, and now to create the transition, you select these two edges and you fill at them and as you can see, we now get this transition between a larger chamfer and a smaller, narrower chamfer right there. So perhaps in the future, there will be like a more official, better method. Uh, but for now, if you want a variable chamfer, uh, this can be a good method right there. All right. Another method that you can use, let me go ahead and demonstrate uh, on a box. So I'll go ahead and create uh, a box right here. Now, so once again, for the variable fillet, just go ahead and press V and you can go ahead and do that right there. And you can go ahead and press V to add more points. All right. And uh, once again, for the chamfer, we got this. We press L. We click right here. We rotate this. We press V. We select this edge. We go ahead and rotate that. We do a little bit of a chamfer where, right there, for example, or we can even make this one larger. Uh, well, if it's larger, it's going to overwrite that. So you kind of have to be, be aware of where you want it to take place wider and... All right, now it's like that. Now it's like these two, and then we can set up our uh, transition. Notice how once they intersect, it cancels. We can get around that by doing one at a time. You can get that one first, then you can get this one. As you can see, guys, a variable chamfer. And uh, one more method, actually, is that if I press Shift-A to create a line, it kind of snap right there. And I'm going to go ahead and SS for scale that. I'm going to press Shift-D and then Y. Shift-D, Y. And I'm going to go ahead and move that right here. Shift-D, Y. Now I can go ahead and hold Shift to select and add to my selection all of these. Press L for loft. Uh, we now have this. Select this Q. And as you can see, we now have a variable chamfer right there. So, this is two nice methods, guys. Thank you for watching and take care.